Oh my goodness, guys, look at this puppy. I am so excited to bring this to you guys. This is our very first look at the Bloodhounds DLC. It is coming out next Tuesday, March the 30th on all three platforms at the same time, which is just so amazing. But here they are. I do have early access on the beta to the Bloodhound DLC. So in today's video, we're gonna have a very close look at these amazing puppies, see how they work. And we're gonna talk about the patch notes for what is going to be fixed in this update right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So look at this dog, look at this bloodhound. Oh my goodness, they did an amazing job on this new DLC. So these are coming out for everyone to be able to purchase at the same time, which is just so great. Next Tuesday, March the 30th, but we're gonna have a really close look at them right now. So right now I'm going through my custom commands for my puppy. So when you do purchase the DLC, you are able to get your first dog for free. You can get up to 25 different dogs. They cost 45,000 each after the first one. So <laughs> there's that. So this here is our command wheel. This is for giving instructions to your puppy. And I am using an Xbox controller. So I just push down on my directional pad on the left and this wheel pops up. And then I just pick which command I would like to execute or I would like the dog to execute. Pardon me, not me, that's for the dog. So let's go in here. When you first want to get your puppy, go to your storage locker, go down to kennel. So that's gonna show up there. And now I, I goofed and my dog is named Name Your Dog. Oops. Luckily this is the beta. That's not always gonna be my dog's name. When I get my actual dog on Tuesday, I am going to name it Lincoln, Lincoln Legend. But for right now, my dog's name is Name Your Dog. <laughs> Oops a doopsie. All right, let's take Mimi here out for a spin. So when you want your dog to stick with you, you need to give it the command heal. Once you have done that, your dog is gonna stay very close by you. You don't have to worry about it. It is going to stick by you. Now you do have to continually be rewarding your dog, make it feel connected, make it feel love. And it will actually show you when you need to do this. And I will show you that in just a second. But they just did such an amazing job on these dogs. Look at them. It's, it's kind of a different feeling having a companion with you when you're out there hunting. And when you do fast travel, turn around and, and there's your dog waiting for you. So you don't have to worry about that. So that's our command. So we're gonna put him on heel so he will follow me before I travel. And look there, we did level him up. Another very cool thing about these dogs is they will warn you when you are about to get attacked by a predator. And the dog did this when it was at level two. So this is right from the beginning. And that's a very handy thing for it to do. Because let me tell you, I have had quite a few times when a buffalo has just mauled me over, didn't even see it coming and I was dead. So this will protect you from that. So the dog will start barking when there is a predator nearby and it will give you quite a bit of warning. So this dog started barking and it was at least two minutes before this guy showed up to try and get me. So that's very cool. They're good for more than just tracking. They really are. So we did get a decent shot on this water buffalo. And when you're getting attacked, the dog is just gonna be running around you. The dog cannot be harmed. It cannot be killed in the game. So you do not have to worry about that. Not by you, not by other players and not by other animals. So it's just gonna run around and basically be there as your support dog when you're getting attacked. Now there will be other dog DLCs coming out. I don't know when but they will have different purposes in the game. So it was mentioned that we may be receiving a retriever, maybe a pointer. So those are awesome things that we can look forward to. And you know what we also have in this update, guys? We have received True Rack for Black Buck. So that is very exciting. So we're gonna have a, a quick peek at the first look at our Black Buck True Rack. Horns, I wanna see these. And I'm getting attacked again. So if something is lurking some predator is by you your dog is just gonna bark and bark and bark until you come face to face with your predator it really does want to keep you alive now when i first heard about getting the bloodhounds and that they are a scent tracker i kind of thought to myself well do i really need this in my game most of the 
animals that I shoot, usually I do get a vital shot, so is this something I really need? But you know what? The dog makes the whole thing, the whole process, so much easier. Even when you shoot an animal and you get a vital shot, if it doesn't drop, it is gonna run off a little bit. And I've been finding lately that I have been struggling to find that first track so that I can run off and find that animal. Well, your bloodhound finds it immediately for you. It is off and running. So I did press track on the dog. I didn't start the taping soon enough. Sorry about that, guys, but I did. So the dog is now tracking this black buck that we have shot. Now, especially in yucky foliage like this, it is really hard to track in this kind of landscape, but the dog just makes it easy for you. It's just gonna find your animal for you. And once it does, it's gonna do a lot of yipping and basically tell you, here it is, come and get it. Before you pick up your animal, you should reward your dog. So give it a treat, give it a pet, just give it some sort of attention, basically let it know, good dog. And that will keep you leveling up your dog. And that will keep the bond between you nice and close. And that will keep your dog doing the best job it can for you. So this is one of our first looks at True Rack for Black Buck. Isn't that cool? So your, your Black Bucks will actually have different color, different horn color variations, which is very cool. So I think that is the last True Rack that needed to be added to Parquet. That's why we're hunting in Parquet today, to have a look at these new True Rack for Black Buck. So that is a very exciting part of our update. Oh my goodness, I just love this dog. He is just the best. So you can actually go down here to your hunting dog menu and you can see how far you have leveled up. We have a companion side and we have a tracker side. So both of those categories need to be leveled up to level 30. Now we have a nice big herd of True Rack Black Bucks here. So we're gonna have a real good look at the new True Racks. I'm really excited to see what they look like. So this is the last species in Parquet that needed True Racks. So they all have True Racks on this reserve now, which is really awesome. So I wonder what we're gonna get next. And whenever an animal does become a true rack, it does get a new score, a new trophy rating for diamond. So we're gonna have to check out what the new diamond rating is for black bucks once we take one of these guys down. Now I'm not gonna be too worried about getting a vital here. I wanna get my dog tracking. And when you're leveling up your dog, that's a nice big one goes up to 109. I'm not sure what diamond is yet. We're going to have to check that out. But that is a big one. And upon first glance of these new Black Buck True Racks, I'm going to say that they look a little bigger than they used to be, which is awesome. That one's a big one. That one goes up to 132. I wonder if it's diamond potential. Hmm, we're going to have to have a, a look. Might have to take that guy down with a little more care. Oh, he is nice, yes. We're gonna try and get a vital on this guy. Not worth the tracking. And he is down? Sweet, all right. Now we have two animals down and this is really neat. So I am going to set my dog to track. He is gonna go off running and we'll track that first animal and I can run over here and pick up the animal that I dropped. So you're definitely saving time in this situation. Now, if your dog gets too far away from you, it will not continue with the tracking. It will just bark until you get close to it. It kind of acts like, well, if you don't care, then I don't care. So you do need to stick with it. Oh, this is a nice one. Look at him. Very cool. 120.6. That is a big one. Back in the olden days, that would have been a diamond all day long. Okay, so our new diamond oh. trophy is 132.2. Now the dog needs me closer, so I am going to catch up with, with my pooch here. And he is going to track. You can run and play your game with your tracks off when you're hunting with your bloodhound. With ease. I did it for most of the day yesterday. I just didn't have my tracks on. You don't need them. I just wanted to see how easy it would be for the dog, and it was just absolutely no problem. So what a good puppy. Good job. So every time you pull open the command wheel for your dog, this little box will pop up. And you see I have two hearts only there for loving. So that tells me I need to pay a little bit more attention to the dog so that I can get that up to three full hearts to help me in securing my bond with this dog. And that will just help level it up. So let's have a closer look at some of these commands. 
Oh, All right, so oh. I'm gonna pull open my menu. So he's barking, he's letting me know he has found the dead animal. So I'm asking him to heal. Heal means your puppy is gonna stick close by you. That is what you wanna select before you go off to hunt. I'm gonna ask the dog to sit. Once he does follow through on the command, I will give him some form of reward. So stay. Then I will praise the dog. And that is that true rack. And look, it has two different color variations in the horns, which is very cool. That's pretty neat. I haven't found a real wonky one yet, but I am looking forward to hunting more of these true rack black bucks just to see the different variations in them. So we're gonna give him a treat. Now, before you can give your dog a treat, you do need to purchase them in the store. They are under consumables and you have to have them in your inventory. You cannot put them on your quick selection menu, but that just makes them there so that you're able to reward your dog with a treat. They're, they're pretty expensive. They're $4,000 for 25 treats, if you can believe that. But this is another very cool thing. Now I am on the beta, so there's almost nothing in my trophy lodge. But once you do have a dog with you, he's gonna be there in your trophy lodge every time you come in there. And if you do own more than one variety of dog, once more DLCs do come out, the last one that you hunted with will be here in your lodge with you. And he has a little bed, he has a food bowl and a water bowl. He's just a little accessory. Your buddy gets to live in your lodge with you. And I think that is very cool. So we are gonna be leveling up our hound on stream today. If you guys would like to join us, that would be amazing. We go live every day but Sunday. And I do post my start times to my YouTube. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy it. If you'd like to join us for more, that would be amazing. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and we will see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.